a little bit different than uh, most of the country. We uh, we don't have snow or ice on the ground. We'll see how this goes. Oh, okay, not too big of a deal. Uh, yeah, I'm out here doing stuff with, uh, you know, our little furry critters that like to destroy our pastures and leave holes for our cows or horses to break their legs in so that's uh that's kind of what we're i'm up to this morning um kind of it's been real nice past well, it hasn't been real nice it's been real windy but it's been warm and so little critters are out and you know snacking down on things and so we're uh before it greens up we like to come through and and give them a little present so you know, just to show them how much we really appreciate them and, and all that they do for us. So we, we we try to like to give them some food to get through the winter time. Uh, wouldn't want anything to happen to them. So that's what I'm currently doing. Uh, hired hired guy. He's feeding right now this morning, and I'm I got all my cows fed and everything. We might move some cows later today, but uh, while I'm kind of twiddling my thumbs, I'm. I'm feeding our our little friends. So uh, this is something new that we're trying. Typically, we just like to to run out. I'm gonna get this thing turned around, and I'll catch you on the other side of it. So we got to turn around here, and uh, basically what we do is we used to we'd run out on uh, like side by sides, four wheelers, something like that, and we would we would put a uh, poison down the hole uh you know that's label said we had one that you could put around the hole and then uh what we're using now uh or what we were using with the four wheelers and we're still doing that on like the rougher spots uh you just put it down in the hole uh and you, know, you also do that so like the cows don't eat up we never had that happen but it's just a nice precaution to take but uh we had an outfit come and you know do this for us once before and they basically the same idea they had a big tank on their pickup and a little it was uh, like a fertilizer coulter and a little fertilizer knife and they put like six pounds of product down to the acre so uh, I took one of these gopher machines I mean that's what this is this is a gopher machine that creates the little tunnels and puts the poison in the tunnels and the gophers are are supposed to go down the tunnel and and eat it and uh, yeah, so I did that, and we tried it a few places last year, and we just couldn't get it shallow enough, and the and the tube that creates a tunnel just tore up too much too much ground, and it, and it caused it to go deep. So there's an old feet trough. So I cut the tube off this year, and now I'm uh, let's see if I can get back on this line. Not that it particularly matters too much. I'm almost done uh, I cut the tube off and now it's basically just all uh, maybe I'll just put the what it looks like in the thumbnail uh, the picture of it but yeah that's kind of that's what I'm doing uh, this stuff's going about half inch into the ground and they will just run up there and dig it up so yeah, I'm getting, getting a little wonky. But they'll run up there, dig it up. Uh, it's got a wheel. That's one thing, like, I'm not too sure about is it has a wheel that runs off down the ground uh, behind where that trench is. But uh, I've got it shallow enough that you can still see the product. And, like, they'll go, they'll just run to that trench and actually just eat it up. But, you know, you can see what they do. I mean, they just destroy our ground, and it's not like we grow a lot of grass anyway, and and you know, we lose all the grazing in these prairie dog towns. Like, there's absolutely no grazing in them, and when you really kind of start figuring out how much they take up, it's it's pretty uh, sickening what what they'll do. Because uh, this this grass, I mean, there's just the cows can hardly even get to it. It's so short. And it's, it's like that in every prairie dog town. Um, and they just spread and spread and spread. And 
you know, we've completely killed them out before, and then they just move in from the neighbors, and it's it's one of those things that you you'll never get rid of all of them. But the you know the more acres you can reclaim, uh, it's just a lot better deal financially for you. Even though it does cost money to do it, it is a it is a pretty pretty good idea to stay on top of it. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, I've done this will be the third town. I've got two more to do for sure. This uh, try to get them all done this month, but I don't think that's going to happen. I'll probably get one more done this month, probably next week, and then I'll do one in February. Uh, the next next two are big towns. Uh, the last, the other two that I've done have been 20 acres, at least 20, 30 acre towns, and so I mean you you got to look at the fact that you you've completely lost 30 acres in every one of these towns like it's just you're losing a lot of ground so uh no no love lost for these little guys now you got turned around here i'm almost done with this town too i just got you can see my little trench goes there and it, it just goes right to that edge of that grass and so what i've been doing I uh, used a different tractor last year, and this was kind of the main reason I got my, I know you can't see it, but I got my GPS running, and I go around the outside of the town, and I map the town out as a field, and I've got my little, little uh, gopher machine, I just have it like set as a cultivator or something like, and I'm running a 30 foot strip, so you know, I'm laying a strip every 30 feet, and it comes out to about six pounds of product in it to the acre or something like that. It, it's very similar to what we've what we've had applied and and what we're also doing is you know we can come out and do this on on four wheelers and and there's certain towns that we still do this in four wheelers because they're they're obviously too rough for a, a big farm tractor. But uh, number one, we're, we're we're comparing cost, uh, you know, the amount we're investing the product into this such this noble cause that we got going on here. But uh, we're trying to see what our what our actual cost is. Um, can we get better results doing this? With uh, and this is a lower cost. I mean, it's I mean you got fuel and stuff, but. The, the amount that we're putting out is an actual lower cost. Uh, number one, we're buying it in bulk because uh, we have that many of the, of the dang things. Uh, you know, what, what's our cost putting it out manually versus, because when you put it out manually, you treat every single hole or every single hole that's been worked. Uh, you know, there's obviously there's dead holes that nothing's been done to them. Uh, and we're comparing it against this where you're treating acres with this versus treating actual holes so it's uh it, it's something that we're trying to work out and and just kind of see what what's more cost effective for us it's not just what's most cost effective it's a uh, time time frame you know it so far uh i've got a comparison on two different towns it took about the same time um, but it, it's just it's something that we're kind of playing with back and forth I think for large towns this thing's going to be way faster but if we don't get the, the same kill results you know really what's what's uh, I don't know it's, we, you do have to go back and retreat you know this isn't a go through and wipe them out uh, honestly the best thing that can happen to them is they get the plague uh, when they get the plague in them, it just wipes them out, and you won't see them for a long time. But uh, north of us, several miles north of us, they got the plague up there, and they, they don't have any up there. But we were uh, unfortunate, and we didn't get the plague in our prairie dogs. So, so you know, they just keep on poisoning them. So that's that's kind of what's going on. Um, if you can stay on top of it and retreat them uh, after you do something like this, because this is just a big 
general mass just tried to knock him out. And I've got a barrel right in my path. It blew off a stock tank. I'm go around it. It's uh, for uh, like a hydrant, basically what it's for. But that's kind of that's kind of the whole idea behind all this. So yeah. Anyway, hopefully this works. Um, we're hoping this machine works very similar to, to the the things that we've had uh, custom done because that worked very well. The only problem is, is you just gotta have you gotta follow up where they've been, uh, and you know the custom applicators. They, you know, they like if, they, if we don't kill them all, we'll come back and treat them, retreat them uh, at no cost to you. Well, guess what didn't happen? Uh, so you know, it's <laughs> kind of one of those things. That's why we're just doing it ourselves. Uh, if this doesn't work and we have to just do it the way we've always done it on uh, side-by-sides, I do have a brand new gopher machine uh, that will be for sale at a very discounted rate from new. Uh, I, I still have the tube and everything. Like we cut the tube off very clean. We'll weld it back. Like If this doesn't work, we're just going to weld it back on there and uh, you would be very hard pressed to know that anything's ever, ever, ever been done to the machine. Because I mean, I did there was some uh, a lot of effort into just trying to keep it a, a good, nice, quality machine. So uh, yeah, um, you know, like our pocket gophers are just ridiculous here too. Like those are all pocket gophers there, but that's just that's just something that we can't deal with. Um, they are what they are but we can deal with the big gophers so but yeah that's uh i just kind of wanted to try this and and go from there we we tried it with the tube on it, it just didn't work for us it wasn't didn't do what we needed it to do and it was kind of a waste of product so now we're trying it this way and just kind of seeing if we can really knock these little guys back because if we get this to work we can run through towns and I think we can really kind of start trying to control them better at least until the until the government says we can't buy poison anymore they they reduce the levels of poison that are actually in it because that's that's been a thing we had one product that used to work really 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 well and there's a little bastard right there and we just they knock the the rate at which the poison was in the product down so bad that uh, many I don't I don't even think you could kill a mouse with that product after that it was what we used to use was a, a ramek and it was a wharf rat poison we'd get it out of Florida and when we first started getting it it would just level prairie dog towns it worked very well but it got to the point where uh, the the concentration in it was just so low that it that you were just literally pouring your money down down the hole. So you know, government knows best. But I think I have this town done, and I'm just about out of poison. So, anyways, we'll catch you guys on the next one.